Hey guys, I'm Joe Drake here with a woman who needs no introduction, Erica Jane. You're very kind, thank How you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You are so fabulous. We have to start out and talk about your fabulous style. Oh, you thanks. You look incredible. You thank always you. look great. Where does the inspiration come from? You know, I've always enjoyed dressing up. Uh -huh. I've always enjoyed costumes, and I've always had a theatrical bent to everything I do, right. including life. So uh, it just kind of springs forth. And I have a great team around me, and we bounce ideas and what looks good and what we like. Amazing. So when you wake up in the morning, what's the next step? Oh, it sweats. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly isn't glam, yeah. I'll tell you that. No, hey, listen, there's a time and a place for everything. Um, I would be lying to you if I told you that I was dressed up all the time. Okay. Sure. Not every day. No, it's an effort. You yeah. know, that's why you always, you know, want to want to acknowledge someone's effort when they get dressed up. Right. Yeah. I love your confessional look, the leopard with the short blonde. Well, that's... It is the best but that's where you get to have fun. I've never understood why you wouldn't go the extra mile of course. in a confessional because you're at home, you're in your own surroundings, and right. that's when you really get to be yourself. Yeah, what's your favorite look that you've had on The Housewives? Uh, the next one that no one's seen yet. <gasps> really? Yeah, Can you give us a little hint? Yes, it's a Moschino white and red blazer with a hat that's never been done before on Housewives, so it's pretty epic in that's my opinion. That's amazing. Yes. We'll see it in the confessionals or at You'll a You'll see it in confessionals. Oh, nice. All right, so let's talk about not only your style, but your amazing collaboration with Shoe Dazzle. Yes. Which I think is a match made in heaven. I think it's a match made in heaven, too. It's done very well. The Erica Girardi line and the Erica Jane line. Okay. So Erica Girardi when you're being the boss in the in the boardroom, and Erica Jane when you're bossing out at the nightclub. Oh, nice. So what are these? These, well, this is Erica. Who is this? this who, is is this? <laughs> who is she? This is um, Erica Jane. She's giving you a nod to the 80s, Ooh, some nice. electric blue leopard. I love but it. my favorite pump is what I have on the pretty mess. The pump. pretty mess. Those are fabulous. They are good. And um, you were in design for all of the shoes, I'm assuming. Yes, I yeah. sat with the team and I said, "Listen, this is who I am. This is what I wear. These are the styles I like, the colors that work for me." Right. And I think that we were able to offer the consumer something that was affordable and had massive amounts of style for the dollar. Definitely. Well, it's expensive to be you. We all know that. But these are affordable. These are affordable, and you know what? I love it. Yeah. I'm wearing it, so it's great. Absolutely. Speaking of expensive, everyone wants to know, when are we getting new music? Ching, it's expensive to be me. Um, well, I just got off tour. Okay. I thought it would be a really good idea to shoot a reality show <laughs> and go on tour at the same <laughs> yeah. time. So I'm not in the studio right now, but okay. soon. You know, music is very close to my heart. It yeah. comes first, uh, performance, and... There'll be some. Definitely. How was the tour? It was great. It was sold out. Was it? Yeah, it was. We had a great time. I, I, you know what I think you should do is World Pride here in New York. Is, when is that? It's in June? It's in or June. Jo yeah, it's in June. I think you would be the perfect headliner for one of the parties. It's a, hey, listen. It out there. Call me up. You know. You know. Call me up. Well, you're a queen amongst the LGBT community. We're just at the uh, Glad Awards. Thank you. How did your connection with the gay and lesbian community start, or it's well, always been? My connection with the LGBTQ community starts at home. My family members, my friends, my mentors, yeah. my teachers are all members of the LGBTQ community. Right. Most of my friends are gay, uh -huh. and uh, so it's a natural thing for me. This isn't, you know, it's been happening since I could walk and talk. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, let's talk about the drama on The Housewives. Let's do it. Because this week was crazy. Did you like it? I loved it. Yes. The fight between Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle. Mm-hmm. I'm telling because, you, just what do you want you me to say? Me. I am not going to say, yes, I did something if I didn't do it. I'm a woman well, with integrity yes, that stands I am up too. for what's just right. Just like I'm, I'm not going to say, her I'm also above. not going to say, Lisa would no, never I'm do done. this. I'm, I'm done with you two. And it feels like that uh, you're talking done. to Radar. Lisa. What are your thoughts? Well, listen, I think it took a lot for Kyle to go into, uh, a situation where she lays it out cold yeah, for I Lisa agree. Vanderpump and and to be yelled at and you know basically shown the door. Yeah. So, you know, there's a decade worth of history there between mm -hmm. Kyle and Lisa and Ken and um, I know Kyle did not feel good about it, but it was something she she went there and she spoke her truth. Yeah. Do you think Ken's involvement was appropriate because he got really vocal and really close? in proximity to Kyle. Yeah, I that did not, it made me very uncomfortable. Yeah. And I don't think that any man should get in any woman's face like that. And I would have been disappointed in my husband had he acted that way. Right. Do you think that amongst all this dog drama, it's sort of parlayed itself into a whole other 
issue between the ladies. Do you think that Dorit got off scot-free? No, because Dorit doesn't get off scot-free. I, I don't think Dorit got off scot-free at all, and she knows she, did, she didn't follow the protocol that she was supposed to, um, and she's paying the price for that. Right. And she may be paying, you know, for a long time. Yeah. You didn't have necessarily a great relationship with Teddy last year, but it seems like you guys are well, cohorts a little bit. Well, friends. at the reunion, if you'll recall, when I said I was willing to go forward, I did. And you did. Which is the same thing that I did with Dorit. Right. Yes. Um, how do you think that she's fared in all this Lisa Vanderpump puppetry? Whom? <laughs> Teddy. She's taking a beating. She is. Yeah, she's taking a beating, but she also was right there, ready to carry out the plan and then did not go through with it. So she has to live with those consequences. But to her credit, she has been very open and honest about it. And mm -hmm. so she's taken her licks like an adult. Definitely. It seems like it started with Dorit, then it went to Teddy. Now it's on to Kyle. Do you think it's going to domino effect through the rest of the ladies? In terms of Lisa getting vocal and sort of well, I can't give away the rest of the show, but I think <laughs> please, it, yeah. <laughs> but I think you see, um, we're all basically in alignment, saying the same thing. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Have you spoken to Lisa since this all went down? No. No, and there are no plans to. She knows my number. Yeah. Okay, you know. we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Who do you think you've gotten closer with over the last couple of seasons? Well, I think that the five of us, um, you know, Denise is new. So Denise being the is new, new. Yeah, so being the new person, you know, she's just she's just getting her gra her bearings. Right. Um, she's great, by the way. I very love nice her. person. Yeah. yeah, she's a very sweet girl. Yeah. Uh, funny. Yeah, definitely. Good stories. Yeah. And doesn't take herself too seriously. Yeah, which not is at all, very which refreshing. is great, yeah. Um, but I think, you know, Teddy, Kyle, myself, Lisa Renna, um, and Dari, you know, we, we kind of came together as a group, yeah. and uh, especially in France, and we, we carried on, and we, we had a good time. Yeah, great. We had a lot of fun. You know, we go camping. We, there's a lot of fun stuff to see. Coming up. We have a lot of the season left to go. We do. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to have to wait all season for the Lisa Kyle fight, and it was like, bam. Well, it's right there, and then Lisa leaves, so, you yeah. know. Yeah. Interesting. How was that Europe trip? Fabulous. It was gorgeous. I mean, this was a chateau built in like 1641. Oh my God. And yeah, it, it, it was probably one of the most glamorous places I've ever been and I've seen really? a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you have. So it was a really great trip. Yeah. And you know, hey, listen, not everybody gets along on that trip. I oh, so really? Okay, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> and don't worry. Well, let's talk about Denise and she's doing so well mixing in with the ladies. How was that wedding? The wedding was hot. I was getting nervous. You guys were all hot. <laughs> no, I was, she was late. She was late. And now I know, you know, it's the bride's day, so she can basically do whatever she wants. That's true. I'm just saying, I was hot. How hot was it? It was. It it's was September like, in in L. A. In L. A. Which is the desert, so Oof. you know it was hot. I love that you showed up in the Lisa Rinna. Well, I'm going to support my that friends was fabulous. in the Lisa Rinna Poly Span jumper, and I highly recommend it. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. And you've gotten closer with Dorit, too, not just Teddy, but you guys yes. are on good terms. Yes. I love you directing her photo shoot. That Why was not? fabulous. You need to come direct my Instagram anytime. photo shoots. Yes, anytime. Let yeah. me know. I'm a good creative director. Mikey taught me well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But after years of being screamed at, I can uh, scream at someone else. Yeah. So you said that you there's some drama in Europe, and we see in the trailer that you're talking to Kyle and Teddy, it looks like, and mm -hmm. said, and you're saying, I kind of feel like the two of you are in cahoots. Right, but I can, I'm not going to tell you what that means. Oh, we're going to have to wait yeah, not what, even a well, little bit? Let me bit. ask you this. What do you think it means? And I'll let you know whether you're close or not. I don't know. Does well, it have okay, to do with then. Lisa Vanderpump? No. Because right now I'm getting the vibe that you're, you've taken a little bit of a backseat so far, and you're getting along with all the ladies, so I don't know where to pull from. Yeah, well, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot more season to come. Right. So there's a lot more, yeah, a lot more story. Have you guys shot the reunion yet? No, that's in June. Ooh. Are you excited, nervous? Uh, I'm fine. I just, you know, it's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a, what's required. Yeah. And so next week we hear you say it's not friendship, it's bullshit, which that's I kind of right. love. I want that on a t-shirt. Yeah. That's not friendship, that's bullshit. Yes, that's not friendship, that's bullshit. Yeah, and we're obviously talking about what happened last week, yep. or this week. Yes. Yeah. We're talking about, yeah. So do you, do you feel, regardless of what you're teasing us with, with your relationship with Kyle, do you still feel that you're defending her and that you support her in this whole drama with Lisa? Listen, or? I support the truth. And you know what? That what Kyle did was went and spoke her truth. Yeah. And that's all she did. And she wasn't expecting the reaction she got. Okay. 
Nice. So what do you have planned for the spring and summer? Hey, Erica Jane for Shoe Dazzle. Yes. My collaboration with uh, Too Faced Cosmetics is out. Oh, nice. It's really great, doing very well. Uh -huh. um, I'll be DJing at my Coachella party for Nylon Magazine. Will you? Both weekends? First no, weekend? first weekend. First weekend. The and only one that matters. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then, um, you know, and then we're shooting a reunion and, you know, we're, we're busy. Nice. So I have to ask, Luann was here from New York. Yes. And she said she's coming out with new music. Good for her. And she's going to be shooting a video in L.A. and she she did tease that some of the housewives would be making appearances. You're the first name that came to mind. I haven't gotten, you haven't no, gotten one's, a call? no one's reached out okay, to so me. Okay, so it's not Erica. I thought no, it might be and you. No, Luann doesn't, listen, and let me <laughs> let me say this. Luann doesn't need anyone to help no, her. No, she doesn't. She need, yeah. just needs to be a solo artist on just her own. Just like you. She can carry her own weight. She doesn't need help. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for stopping thank you. by. Thanks You're for such having a dream. Me. I appreciate that. Thank you thank very you. much. Yeah.